Yeah, so I've managed to sell pretty much everything that I wanted to sell, so I'll just leave that for now. Yeah, so just after I ended the previous video, I just remembered that I have to head to the Sadrif Kegran farm. So I'm pretty sure you already know why it is I need to head here. But yeah, I'm sure this is only like the second time which I've been inside of the Sadrif Kegran farm. But it's a good place to find food and ingredients, but that's not what I came here for. Speak. It's a farm, can't you see? Don't you dare trample over my carrots! Nor is these dice. Since my husband dragged me on an expedition with those Telvani sorcerers, though... It is a pleasure living here now. Don't bother coming back again. I'm all ears. Yeah, it seems like they've got quite a variety of crops growing here. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed inside of that farmhouse. I guess I'll wait and see. Yeah, so there should be another person around here. But there must be somewhere else by now. So I guess I might have to wait a few hours for them to come back. Need something. That's right. The Dwemer had designed this place as a garden, but we've made a farm of it. It's been near 150 years since my wife Salvinia and I moved to Skyrim from Margon. We lived in Windhelm for some time, but then we stumbled across this place. It's Salveni's birthday soon, and I've got nothing to give her. Oh, I did have a present for my wife, but I lost it. Varen made an extraordinary beautiful ring, especially for me. I was working at the farm, when I bent over and the ring fell out into the haystack. My sight is not what it used to be, so I struggle to find it. Please help me. Outlanders don't usually get paid, but I'll make it worth your while. Azura, bless you! Aye. Ah. Yeah, so that's the only haystack which I can see around here. So it's ah. probably in there. Yeah, so I think that's all I've got to do in this quest. Find the ring and then return it. Simple as that. Yeah, so... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to find the ring in here. I can't quite remember how you get to it. Okay, so it wouldn't be as straightforward as that. Yeah, maybe if I can cut it in half with a sword, that might work. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, so, well, I know that hay burns very easily, so let's see if destruction works. Just hay is very dry, and that's basically why it burns so easily.
Okay, so that has worked. Looks like I found a dagger as well. But at least I've managed to find the ring. Good afternoon. You have my sincere thanks. Here's a little something for your trouble. I'd better get going. Okay, that was probably one of the easiest quests which I've done so far. Maybe we don't need any fertilizer at all. Oh, I guess not though. This will only be a temporary solution. Yeah? See for yourself. Okay, she's got quite a lot of gold. Yeah, I wasn't sure if she was a farmer as well. Okay, I probably shouldn't be selling my things to her because... Yeah, the gold isn't really changing. Yeah, I have noticed that before. It seems like some sort of bug. No job, just a little plea. As of late, there have been some alarming noises coming from near our home. Sounds like someone or something has settled down under and is trying to get out. Go to Mistress Verendus and ask for help with the matter. Oh, how sweet. Here, eat this apple. Yeah, so that also triggers another side quest. But I'm going to head back to the council hall now. So I'll do that other side quest later on. Yeah, so unfortunately that does sometimes happen when you're selling items to a merchant. The gold does not move at all. So you're getting nothing back from selling your items. Yeah, so it's something you've got to be careful of. Yeah, so the main reason I'm heading to the council hall is to basically tell the council about Shanaf's evil plans. Yeah, I'm just wondering what percentage of players chose to work with Shanaf still. Will you help us in exchange for your freedom? Need something? This, I have long since known. Yeni Lu assured me that it was an impossible feat. Have circumstances changed? Some areas, you say? Landing grounds, I assume. I fear it won't be long before he decides to do it himself. That'll endanger the whole settlement. It's decided. Shanath must be stopped before it's too late. Go, do not delay. What an ignominious end for a once great mind. A mad Seldry is twice as dangerous as the one who cannot remember yesterday. Shanath must be stopped forever. Get it done, but try not to draw attention. Anything else? Is that so? Apparently Slyboots is up again. Must be hungry, the poor creature. Either feed him to shut him up, or just kill him. 
My hand won't rise to that, but it causes too much inconvenience. Take a key from the catacombs beneath the Andevel's house and a lamp. If that's all, I'll be getting back to work. Okay, I was not expecting her to order me to kill Shanaf. But yeah, I guess in order to protect the settlement, I'll have to kill him. Yeah, so he should still be inside of his home. Yeah, I have not seen him outside in a very long time. Yeah, but I guess there's no other way to stop him, so we've got to kill him instead. Swan needs something. I speak. I haven't got all day. Nasty bitch. Sure, he wants everything for herself. Worse yet, no. We're still tied. We will have our revenge! End Marissa! Do you hear me? End her! And then you? Then, what then? Then launch! Fly! Start! I don't think so. Just you swing again! So that's the end of him. Yeah, that was a pretty good kill to be honest. But I've noticed he was stood in that exact same spot as the last time I saw him. Okay, so now I've just got to report his death back to Marissa and Yen Yulu. Yeah, so I'd rather side with Yen Yulu rather than the council. But I don't think I have to kill the council as well. But yeah, I guess we'll wait and see. Don't waste my time. Speak. The laws of House Telvanni allow for such an outcome. But we have different laws here in Sedrith Kegran. I hope we were not mistaken and that Sylvia did not die in vain. Our home is safe now. Here, take this gold as a reward for our rescue. Yeah, had I listened to Shanaf, then I probably would have had to kill both the council and Yen Yulu. But now I'm off to see Yen Yulu about Shanaf's death. Yeah, Shanaf did sort of remind me of a sort of mad scientist.
Yeah, so he's still inside of AHO. Hello there. <sighs> A sad end. But it was to be expected. At least we are safe now. Thank you for your help. We will launch AHO, of course. But first of all, we must ensure the safety of Tel Arnd, so the launch will pass without consequence. Tel Arnd draws most of its energy from AHO's Aetherium reactor. However, the mycelium has reached so far into the depths of Kauzach that it has found new sources of energy, albeit less potent. I think we can supply Tel Arnd with the necessary influx of magical energy by simply planting some Aetherium generators into it. I've almost everything required for their making, though a few things I lack. Could you descend into Kauzarth and look for the missing elements? Meanwhile, I will start assembling the generators. Hurry! Until next time. Okay, so I've got to go and collect some more necessary materials for him. Yeah, I'll have to see what they are. Okay, I've already got a Prowler's Ethereum core. I think I've got three of them with me, but I don't think I have ten Dwarven Metals. No, so I'll have to look around for those. Yeah, I mean the blacksmith might have some for sale. Yeah, so that's what I'll be planning to do next time. So I hope you've enjoyed and thank you for watching.